Hey guys! Now in using ChatGPT to earn your first $100 online is shown here. I'll include a link to this page underneath the like button, so let's start there. You undoubtedly already know what a great chatbot ChatGPT is. Selling products or services online is the first method recommended by ChatGPT for making money online. The second choice is to start a blog or website. The third choice is to make investments in securities or cryptocurrency. Finishing online tasks or surveys is the fourth method, and starting an influencer marketing campaign is the fifth. I'll save you some time right now. The best way to make money online is by selling digital things. The profit margin is incredibly big because you just need to create the product once and can sell it repeatedly. Making digital items also doesn't cost anything. As you can see, ChatGPT lists selling digital products like ebooks or courses as one of the best ways to make money online. I'll now show you how to create an ebook using ChatGPT. And in a moment, I'll demonstrate in detail how to profit from your ebook. All you have to do to generate passive money is create the item once and sell it repeatedly. Now, let me show you how to rapidly create a wonderful ebook with ChatGPT. Now, before we can start creating your first ebook, we need to come up with a topic. Then, what type of ebook should you create using ChatGPT? First and foremost, you need to sell products that buyers are interested in if you want to make money selling ebooks. Consequently, you're curious to find out which nonfiction book categories are the most popular. Asking ChatGPT is the simplest way to learn more. I'll just list what the most popular categories are for nonfiction books. ChatGPT can help you with the research even if you are unsure of the type of ebooks you intend to produce and sell. You inquire with ChatGPT about the most popular categories for nonfiction books in order to learn what is popular and in demand so that you may create ebooks to satisfy that demand. Don't you think it would be a waste of time to write a book that no one would want to buy? As you can see, there are many intriguing ideas present, including those of biography and memoir. Another popular area is business and finance. Other topics include history, self-help, and personal development. If you want more suggestions, you can just ask ChatGPT to make some. For example, you might say, suggest five additional popular categories. If none of these 10 ideas work for you, ask ChatGPT to keep coming up with more. As a result, there are currently new ideas on things like knowledge and references, nature and the environment, art and photography, etc. These are all very good ideas. As a fascinating and inclusive category, let's pick business and finance as our example. If you want to come up with even better ideas for a nonfiction book, we can ask ChatGPT to submit some subtopic recommendations. A generic business and financial ebook would be too broad and unfocused, so we don't want to write one. It will be quite difficult to sell it. Let's thus ask ChatGPT for even more original ideas. What subtopics fall within the business and finance category, for instance? In order to develop a better design for our ebook, we may then wait for ChatGPT to reveal some of the most popular subtopics. Under the general heading of business and finance, areas like marketing and sales, economics and financial markets, management and leadership, entrepreneurship and small enterprises, personal finance and investment, real estate, and other subjects are all covered. Simply select the one that most interests you. As an illustration, consider entrepreneurship and small business. All right, we're ready to start authoring that ebook now. We're ready to start authoring the ebook now. Let's first request an outline from ChatGPT. I'll just put together an outline for a book about entrepreneurship and small businesses that looks somewhat like this. The book will be organized for you by ChatGPT, who will also give you a table of contents with each chapter neatly ordered. We'll include an introduction and a chapter on the definition and overview of entrepreneurship, among other things. The book's outline will now be copied from ChatGPT and pasted into Google Docs. But before we go any deeper, I'll give you some time to subscribe to the channel and give it a big thumbs up if you've loved the video thus far. 
And if you found this video interesting and informative, please share this video. We already have the full outline of the book. At this point, we want ChatGPT to start writing the booklet for us. In the first chapter, we'll start with an introduction and definition of entrepreneurship. Simply copy the chapter name once, and then paste it into ChatGPT. When we instruct ChatGPT to write the first chapter of our ebook, all you have to do is pick it, copy it, and then go back to Google Docs and paste it in. The first chapter of the book is here. We simply move on to the next chapter after that. I'll go back to ChatGPT and copy the chapter name from the following page. I will ask ChatGPT to compose this chapter, and this is going to be the second chapter. The chapter will be written by ChatGPT on our behalf. When it's finished, we select it, copy it, and then paste it into Google Docs as before. We simply keep using this technique, having ChatGPT type up chapters 3, 4, 5, and so forth, as we copy and paste. In just a few minutes, we'll have our entire booklet typed out for us. By the way, if you feel a chapter is too short, you can just ask ChatGPT for extra writing. ChatGPT will continue adding fresh sentences to the chapter. With ChatGPT, you may now create your first booklet. To download your ebook as a PDF, simply choose the PDF document from the File, then Download menu. After creating your ebook with ChatGPT, you should publish it to a website so that you can sell it. One of the many places you may utilize for this is Gumroad.com. Anywhere can access this platform. After that, please leave a comment below and let me know from where in the world you're viewing this video. By doing this, I'll be able to create videos in the future with content specific to your region. As you can see, you may use Gumroad to sell a PDF ebook as well as other kinds of digital products if you choose. The advantage of Gumroad is that there are no recurring charges, making it cost-free. Other platforms frequently want you to shell over a substantial sum of money, like $30, $40, or even $100. Gumroad doesn't require you to pay any monthly fees. Only if you produce sales or earn money do they ask for a 10% fee. Gumroad is a wonderful choice because you may sign up for free and just have to pay when you make money. For instance, if you make $100 from the sale of your ebook, Gumroad will deduct $10 in usage fees. After your ebook is ready for Gumroad sale, all you have to do to increase traffic is promote it on social media. You can utilize YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or Gumroad to entice folks to go there and buy your ebook. And that's it! If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos, and if you like it, please smash the like button. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. See you in the next video!